super excited for this video because this is something I've never done. My daughter's pretending to be a chicken. <laughs> um, this is something I've never done, but I'm super excited for. Okay, my daughter wanted in to see the chickens. So today I'm going to harvest some of my kale um, in the garden because it's growing very big. And I feel like too, um, if you trim it, it'll continue to grow because there's a lot of new growth on it. So I'm gonna show you how today we're going to turn a kale leaf into a greens powder. And uh, it's gonna be super exciting. So you basically just dehydrate your kale until it's like crumpled, that you can crumple up the leaf and blend it into a powder. And then you have it as like a greens powder. You can add it to soups, you can add it to smoothies, you can like put it, use it for anything. So I'm going to show you how we're gonna harvest the kale. Um, and then we will go from there. So you're basically going to go from the bottom and I just grab scissors and you're just gonna cut them off. Okay, so I've got it all trimmed up. Um, this is the pile of what I've got here. So I've got quite a bit. But as you can see here, I basically just trimmed a few layers around the bottom because this stuff you can see is still growing. It's all new growth. So I think if I trim up around it, it'll still produce lots and lots and lots because it grows straight up and keeps coming out. But it is now um, trimmed up, and that is what I have off of my three plants. Okay, so here's all of our kale. So I'm gonna put it in the sink, um, and then we're gonna wash it, and I'm gonna take it off of the stem. So you literally just go like this. Oh, <laughs> and then that one, that part of the stem stays, but the big part, um, just get rid of. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so here is all of the kale. Um, so now I'm gonna fill the sink up with cold water and kind of wash it up because there is dirt on it from the garden. And then I'm gonna place it on trays and start the dehydration. All right, so I've got it about half full with water. I'm just gonna go like this and get rough with it. <laughs> I'm just going to rinse them all little bits at a time, kind of shake them off, put them on the towel on the counter there. And then I'm going to pat them dry and put them on their trays. This here, now that you have it all laid out, you're just gonna kind of pat them dry. Just 
And then we're gonna take our dehydration tray, and lay them out. The ones that are really, really big, um, you can cut, you can crumble a little bit smaller, but you don't want, you want it bigger than a piece of salad you would have, or a piece of lettuce you would have in a salad on your fork. Um, so you're just gonna lay them out all on the tray like that so they're not overlapping, but they're not spread way out. And then we're gonna get the tray full and then we will throw it in the oven and I will show you that. Okay, so I've got all of my kale on here. It's not over, Lapped. It's just that's the bunch, how bunched they are. Oops. Um, so anyways, it's ready to go. I'm going to start my dehydrate at 125. And I'm going to put the kale in. Okay, so it's in the oven. I just did another little tray underneath. Um, it says it takes about six hours, but I'm gonna continue to, to check on it. Um, and in the meantime, I'm gonna wash up the rest of what we've got here, pat it dry, cause I'm gonna have to probably just throw it in the fridge and then do another round tomorrow. Um, but when this one's done, I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll go into grinding it down into a powder. Okay, so I have it all cleaned up now. I have a full bowl over here that I scrunched down and then all of this. So once the stuff in the oven's done, I'm gonna have a lot more to do. Um, hopefully this can get in one batch, but it's looking like a lot more than that. So <laughs> I might be doing some kale dehydrating for a long time. <laughs> we, will, we will see. So I will give you an update in about five hours, six hours um, to let you know how long the kale took in the dehydrator. And then we will do this too. Okay, it's been about three hours, a lot sooner than I thought, but it looks like it's done. See how crunchy? <laughs> so let me take them both out and um, show you once they're out. There you go. So I took the trays out. This is what they look like. But as you can see, See, they're literally just crumbling. So, I am going to take them off the tray, grab, oh, that, and put it on here to get another batch going for another three hours. So that's cool, because I'll be able basically to double batch, because I thought it was gonna be six hours for one. Um, and hopefully we can get it all dried up. Um, and then we're gonna grind it down into a powder. And we're also gonna do some in like sizes, maybe about this big, like squares. Not squares, but small, just basically crunch it up to put in soups and stuff like that. Um, so let's do it. Okay, so that's all I have left after I put in the second two trays. So I'm just gonna cut this up and, and mix it in with our lettuce tonight for our salad for dinner. Um, and this is what I got here off of the two trays. So when I put it down, I scrunched it like this to get it all in the bowl, but um, I'm gonna grind this down now into a powder. You can see it fresh versus it dehydrated there and the difference. Um, and then I'm gonna grind it down into a powder so you can see um, how I make my greens. Okay, so I have one of these blend jet little things and we're gonna see how it does to make a powder. <laughs> so I put a cutting board under the blend jet so that way when I spill, I can just dump it back into the bowl and continue to put it in here. Instead of wiping it off the counter. Wow, that's a pretty good job. 
job. <laughs> Down to a powder. Can't even hardly see it in there, but I gotta do it a bit. Oh, I gotta do it a bit more because there's a bit of the twiggy stuff in there, but works good. I'm gonna do all of it and then I will show you. Okay, so I've got it all ground down now. And this is how much. Okay, so we've got all the powder here. So I'm gonna show you how much. And we're gonna dump it in a jar. <laughs> that was quite easy. So there you go. You have a greens powder. Like this. It's actually quite a bit in there. So there you can kind of see it better. So there's a little bit of the things in it. I could strain it. I'll probably strain it with my strainer to get all the a little bit of a, the bigger things out, but this is really good for prepping. Um, if you ever need, you know, that dense nutrition and you're running low on food or um, just to get your greens in on an everyday basis, if you want to make your own greens powder, you can do it this way. Um, and then what's the next batch? I'm going to just leave in small chunks and I'll show you that. Um, and then that, I'll explain what you can use that in. But yeah, super cool. Mix it with some water and chuck it back. Super good for you. Okay, so this is what it looks like now that I've had it in the bowl from, I already scrunched it down quite a bit too. But you're literally going to just go like this with the, this one. So this one I'm not going to make into a powder. I'm just going to do more of like a crunched up little teeny pieces like more like flakes of kale that way I can add this jar into like soups or stir fries or also in the winter when uh, nutrition isn't as good for vegetables I can give um, some to my chickens in with their feed so I'm basically just going to take oh there's all my bananas I'm going to take the big chunks out of like the vine or the where the veins are. I guess it's called the stem um, where it traveled more up into the leaf. But this is what I'm looking for. So when I go through all of it, I'm going to have this to be finished with. And then I can um, jar it up and I will show you what it looks like. All right. So now I'm literally just going to spoon it in I mean it's not going to be perfect there's probably still going to be some twiggy parts but the cool part about it is when you take it out to use you know a, a tablespoon or so at a time you just pick through it as you use it so there you have it this is the flakes so kale flakes, and then this is the kale powder. So uh, obviously, like you've seen earlier, I didn't trim my plants all the way down. There's still going to be a lot that produces. Um, so when we produce more, I will make more powder or more of this, whatever it is that we need more of. So yeah, super easy. The longest part of it is just waiting for it to dehydrate. Um, but I realize it's a lot smaller or less amount of a time, I guess, than I thought. Um, it took around three hours um, for each batch and we were good to go. The powder went good. Um, it's a lot like when you crunch it, it's literally a lot like just grabbing a handful of leaves in the autumn time and fall and crunching them in your hands. It's the exact same thing. It kind of smells like the same thing. Um, and you can keep them um, in your pantry. And like I said, you can use them, the flakes you can use in foods, like different dishes, um, soups, stuff like that. And then the powder you can actually take as a supplemental green 
um, if you notice that you're just not getting enough uh, fruit to, fruits and veggies in, just to add that to your um, daily nutrition. So I hope you enjoyed. Try it out. Let me know what you think. And um, as always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell so you never miss a video. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you. Have the most amazing day. Bye.